वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर राहुल खवल एंड दिस इज माई सेकेंड वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन बी एस सी सेकेंड ईयर स्टूडेंट सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ फाइलम कॉरडेटा सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ओरिजिन ऑफ कॉरडेटा सो इट इज बिलीव दैट द कॉरडेट हैव ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम इन ऑर्टिब्रेट it is a difficult to determine from which invertebrate group the chordate were developed so it is difficult to uh, say the which invertebrate uh, invertebrate group uh, uh, the chordate were developed means the chordate which is uh, arises from which uh, invertebrate in invertebrate group so the chordate ancestor were soft bodied animals hence they are not preserved as a fossils so many biological theory we are put forward to explain the origin of chordates so first theory that is the cylindrate theory of origin of chordates so according to this theory chordates were developed from the cylindrates so according to this theory the chordate uh, which is developed or derived from the cylindrate phylum cylindrata that is the invertebrate so the radial symmetry presence of cylindron uh, nidoblast were lost and advanced character were developed to give rise to chordates so this theory infers that the chordate might have acquired higher character independently so um, for that uh, reason it is not correct and hence this theory is not acceptable then the next theory that is the annular theory of origin of chordate so this theory suggests that the chordates have evolved uh, from an annular stock means the chordate which is uh, developed or derived from the phylum annelida so the annelida show bilateral symmetry metamerism head lateral uh, head lateral coelom complete digestive tract closed circulatory system and hemoglobin so these things which is uh, like the chordates uh, but mouth and appendages of annelid uh, which is differ from the chordates so some character are like that of the chordate but some character are differ from the chordate uh, so the hemoglobin is dissolved in the plasma in annelids but it is present in rbc in chordate So this is the difference between uh, chordate and the annelids so some character are matches with the chordates but some character are differ from the chordates uh, then the annelid nerve cord is double and ventral but the chordates nerve cord is single and dorsal so there some differences exist between the annelids and the chordates in their embryology means some differences also Uh, show the difference between annelids and the chordates so hence it is difficult to accept this theory also the next theory uh, about the origin of chordate that is the echinoderm hemichordata theory of origin of chordates so this theory infers origin of chordates hemichordates and echinoderms from a common ancestor so this theory is based on the following evidence that is first that is the embryological evidence origin of chordates both echinoderm and chordate have introcolic coelom mesoderm and deuterostomes mouth so there is similarity between uh, between the bipnaria larva of echinoderm and toronaria larva of hemichordata <coughs> so some character which is matches with the a uh, chordate correct which is matches with the echinoderm such as the uh, introcolic coelo mesoderm and deuterostomes mouth so this character which is matches with the chordate and then the uh, another one that is the bipnaria larva of echinoderm and toronaria larva of hemichordates <coughs> then the echinoderms and chordates the central nervous system developed from the dorsal strip of the ectoderm means in ecto in echinoderms and chordates 
their central nervous system which is developed from the dorsal strip of the uh, ectoderm then another evid uh, evidence that is the uh, serological evidence a close similarity exists between the proteins of the body fluid of chordates and echinoderm hence the chordates are more related to echinoderms Uh, then the radial symmetry of the adult echinoderm will disprove their relationship with the bilaterally symmetrical chordate so this is a differ character uh, so the uh, first first character that is embryological evidence and serolo uh, serological uh, evidence that is the matches with the chordate character but the radial symmetry of the adult echinoderm will disprove their relationship with the bilateral symmetrical chordates the general chordate ancestry was suggested by n j beril in 1953 in his book the origin of vertebrates so uh, the n j beril in 1953 in his book the origin of vertebrate they show the um, some uh, So that uh, that is the uh, ancestor, uh, which is the uh, ancestor of the chordate. That is the first. That is the echinoderm, then auricularia, then hemichordata, then toronaria, then protochordata, then ascadian, then then tadpole, then free swimming chordate. So in this way they show the. Uh, um, that uh, origin of the chordate first of all and then hymen in 1959 and the other con others concluded that the all the three groups have a common ancestors so uh, so this is the lecture uh, on origin of chordates so in previous lecture we have seen the uh, introduction of chordate in that we have seen the what is mean by chordate and uh, Uh, the uh, phylum of chordata uh, as well as the um, comparison in between chordate and non chordates so uh, in this uh, uh, video in this video lecture we have seen the uh, origin of chordate so today uh, we will stop here thank you